All right, so what I have here is a bunch of bungees. Uh, this brand is called the Perfect Bungee. What I really like about them is that they're made in the USA. All right, US made. Uh, but also, the other thing I really like about them is that they're like dirt cheap. So this 24 inch one right here is uh, $3. This one's four dollars and this one is five dollars all at home depot uh so i you know obviously these ones are open already because i bought these ones first and i used them and i really like them and there's so there's another one here a little bit more expensive but this one's this one's a little bit more heavy duty and it has a, adjustable loops so you could you know you look hook uh hook down whatever and you could basically just slip it through like so uh like that or you know or whatever different holes uh, and they have the heavy duty ones or similar to this but instead of having a adjustable holes it's just you know it's just solid like, like this all the way through uh, and the hoop here is uh, it's not molded in uh, it's actually there's actually a hole and actually the, the hook it actually hooks through and I have those too I have it on my in my truck which is not here right now so can't show you guys that but anyways and these ones are these ones right here are the lighter duty ones uh, but they're still very strong uh, so I really, I'm really digging these, um, US made, and they're dirt cheap at Home Depot. You know, this, this, if you look, if you go to the Home Depot and look at the Home Depot brand, the Husky brand, for the same length, uh, they're, they're, they're the same price, and they're like cheap though. They're like flimsy compared to this. This is like way, way nicer. Way you know, this is like premium. The stuff at Home Depot is like the Home Depot brand is like cheap. Um, and not as well thought out either uh the you know the, the elastic the it's like it's just really it's really weak uh and the hooks not not well thought out anyways uh so i just wanted to show you guys this i was surprised to find this at home depot for for the for the price that, that they are uh being us made so yeah so these are my new these are going to be my new go-to bungees the last time i actually bought bungees where where i liked were the uh rock straps Rock straps used to make bungees uh, only, but now they don't make bungees anymore. They they make like straps with like a little section of bungee, but I want the whole thing to be a bungee, and they don't make that anymore. Uh, and those are really nice too. But I like I actually like these ones better. They're more streamlined. Uh, let's see how well these things hold up over time. But you know, I mean, I just got these a few weeks ago, so I don't know how well they, you know. You can see that it's already kind of used already right here. Uh, so I don't know how how well these will hold up over time. You know, especially being molded in into the uh bungee section of it right here but again these these ones right here these round ones are the light lighter weight ones and these ones are a little bit stronger than the stronger ones or you know they don't have these loops they're just solid like like right here uh but but they're uh they're not molded in they have actually have a little hole eye hole where where the actual you know there's a double hook and the, so the other hook hooks in into uh into the eye hole uh so that one's the stronger one um that i don't and that one doesn't have that much stretch and you, it, it does have stretch but the thing is it, they're so strong that when you try to stretch them it's like it's really hard to stretch because because they're so strong this one is pretty strong but i can still stretch them pretty good uh this one's a little bit you know not as you know the, the stretching part of it's not as strong so so i can stretch them pretty well as well but those the extra strong ones are like really hard i mean i can barely i'm like it's like maybe two of these together it's like that that's how strong they are um so so that's why I'm leaving those extra strong ones in the car, in the truck. So sometimes you need to tie down things real tight in the truck because you're going freeway speeds, right? Well, these ones, uh, at least these little ones right here, I'm gonna use this on my, my inflatable boat. So in, on the inflatable boat, you're not going very fast. So you don't need to be that strong. But also this, these hooks will be hooking against the, the boat itself. So you don't want to put that much stress on the, on the inflatable. Uh, either so so keep it nice and light uh, and these ones I'm probably gonna use this like on my uh, on my uh, on my mini bikes you know like the back of my trail trail 125 or my super cup 125 uh, because they have the adjustments so so I think that's what that's these ones are for I might use these ones for that too but uh, for sure these ones these adjustable ones uh, but anyways so I'm pretty impressed the thing is this way is rubber coated I'm not sure if it's metal inside or not well it's not, not rubber coated it's plastic there's plastic so I'm not sure this thing is solid plastic, if it's metal inside or what. Or it's just some type of, you know, very strong engineered plastic. But it's like, there's no flex in it, you know. I'm like trying to flex it, it's like it doesn't really move. It barely, so it's very strong. Uh, again, you know, we'll see how well these hold up. But anyways, 
for now, in the first impressions, I'm very impressed with these. Uh, very nice, very nice. Uh, the quality is real nice. Um, US made and they're dirt cheap. All right, so that's my little initial product review. Uh, I mean, after a year or so, uh, or maybe after Cannonball, I'll come back and, and discuss this and see how well they really, how well they hold up for a long road trip on a on a mini bike. All right, thanks for watching.